guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be preparing uh, preparing all my guinea pig supplies because I'm going to be going on vacation. It's not going to be for very long, it's just for the weekend. So I'm leaving probably in the middle of Friday and I'll be gone Saturday and Sunday and I'll be coming home Sunday night. So it's not very long, it's only a few days. Uh, but it, it is a car ride, so I think it's like an hour and a half, two hour car ride. So. I need to prepare everything. I just wanted to show you guys how I do it because some people might be wondering what I do. So basically, I have that carrier. Uh, it's smaller than the one I used to originally take them home in, which I think would be better if it's smaller because it's more compact and they don't really move. They like to be like protected almost. So I need to wash that out. Uh, then I have two bags on there. The bigger bag is going to hold their pellets for their litter box and the smaller one is going to hold their pellets that they eat and I have their litter box and I need to clean that out that bag I need to put all their medication and some toys and their food dish stuff like that water bottle things like that in and then in there is going to be their hay so let's get started so I think the first thing I'm going to do is probably clean out the carrier so then it can air out and dry and I'll be all set and then I'll probably clean out the litter box so let's go and do those So the next thing I need is pellets. So these are the pellets that go at the bottom of their cage. Don't worry, they're not like any bad pellets. It's just to help absorb liquids and stuff so the hay doesn't absorb it as much. The hay stays safe. But, okay, so I just need a, this bag. I don't need to fill it. We're only gonna be there for three days. So I'm only gonna, and I only change it, the litter box once every two to three days, so. I'm only going to get enough for one bag, so basically I get two and a half scoops. So there's one scoop. And another scoop. And then like a little, like that much more. All right, so that's for the pellets. So now I'm gonna probably, that's for the litter pellets. Now I'm gonna go and get the food pellets. All right, so now it's time for their food pellets. And they eat the Oxbow Essentials Adult Guinea Pig Food. So I'm gonna get some of that. And they don't really eat much of it because I give them a lot of veggies so they don't really like to eat this as much and their veggies instead of giving them once a day I split it up into two meals so then um, it's more spread out and they're not starving so that much is probably good for three days because like I said they don't eat very much like it's been a week and I haven't had to refill their dish I've only refilled it a tiny bit and that's how much is left there's a lot so they'll be fine with this much oh. mango leave her alone mango just kicked peach out of the house all right so we have the pellets all set now the next thing I'm probably gonna do is fill up their hay box. So like I said, I'm only gonna be up there for three days, so this should be more than enough. I'll probably use about half for a litter box and then I'll probably bring one of their hay trellis things. So um, let me get my big hay thing out.
have ready. Like I, this is the day before I'm leaving, so I'm just packing everything so I'll be all set. But some things I can't pack yet because it's like toys or tidy houses that they're using. So here's the bag. So I'm probably gonna bring this because it's a house and plus it has the little hay trellis but in here let's see we'll put their um is this no alright we'll put bedding pellets in and their food pellets in the hay won't fit alright what else can I bring um I'm gonna bring their baby wipes but I'm gonna leave that right there because I haven't really needed to use them recently but just in case and um I will need to use those tonight so I can't pack those yet and then I have an extra food dish so I can put that in there right now and then I'm gonna need to bring um Peach's critical care and her vitamin C but I am gonna give these two things to her tonight and tomorrow well not the vitamin c i'm gonna give this to her tonight and tomorrow morning and i'm gonna give this to her tomorrow morning so i'll pack those things after along with i haven't washed it out because i just gave her the critical care but I, i'm gonna be bringing this pink dish and that syringe and then the vitamin c syringe so um and then i'm also gonna be bringing some toys so i'm gonna leave those the toys I'm going to be bringing are in their cage right now, so I'll just leave those. So, tomorrow morning I'll get back to you with everything that I am going to be packing uh, that I have not packed yet. Alright, so I quickly grabbed everything that I couldn't pack last night, except for the stuff that's in their cage that I'm bringing. So, like, all the other stuff. So, I need to pack uh, the water wipes, uh, the water baby wipes, because... Peach sometimes makes a mess. She's gotten a lot better now that she's taking it a lot faster. Um, but she does still sometimes make a mess, whether it's on me or on herself. And then we need to pack the liquid vitamin C. So I'll put that in there. And I don't really want it to fall, so I'm just going to put stuff around it. Alright, next up is... Her critical care, these are both the same things. I just got it off of Amazon, for those of you that are wondering. But, um, so yeah, so this is almost empty, so I had to go ahead and get another one. And there's a scooper inside of this. So, uh, but this is almost empty. I think we'll run out over the weekend. So I'm just going to bring this just in case I do run out, which I think I will. And so I'm just going to get that in there. All right, and now we have the lettuce food bowl. It's not really necessary, but I wanna bring it. The pink food dish to mix her critical care. And the vitamin C syringe and the new critical care syringe. Just so you know, the reason why I have this blue tape is so I know it's the vitamin C syringe. I mean, I can tell the vitamin C syringe doesn't have a lot of chew marks on it, but yeah, so that's everything that's going in there. Um, now I need to grab a water bottle and wash it out because I am going to be bringing a water bottle. And what else is in that cage? I'm probably going to bring some of their toys and maybe their cube and their tunnel, probably. Probably because they love the tunnel. I'm bringing a snuggle sack because they like the snuggle sack and they love the cube. So I'm probably going to bring that too. And they all match. They're all out of the sloth pattern. So... Yeah, I think that's everything in their cage. I don't, I don't think I'll bring their stuffed animal because they don't really use it anymore. So let's go and pack those things. I'll actually grab their toys right now. I'm going to grab their favorite ones. So their two favorites are probably this Oxbow Flip and Roll. They are obsessed with it, as you can see. They like, they completely have chewed it up and they've taken the ball out of it and they've chewed on the ball too. Like, they love this toy. So I'm definitely going to be bringing that. And second one is this 
Apple I got it from Petco and then like I said the flip and roll I do sell in my shop but yeah they love those so that's a big recommendation the number one toy is that flip and roll I would recommend that so I need to grab their tunnel and their cube but peach is in the tunnel right not peach yeah peach is in the tunnel right now and mango's in the cube right now here I'll show you So, okay. So there's Peach, see I'm not lying. Peach, that's Peach's favorite spot. Pe oh my God, I keep saying Peach. That's Mango's favorite spot. See, say hello. <laughs> then Peach is in this tunnel. Oh, well there goes Mango into a snuggle sack. So I'll just grab this real quick. And we'll pack this. Okay guys, so that's it for the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.